everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm calling myself Messy Pam. <laughs> Messy Paint Pam. Um, I just got through finish painting my uh, my stairway or my foyer or my entryway. I'm going to call it entryway. The reason why is because I've been in this house for mm, some years and we have had the house painted, but every now and then I feel as though as a homeowner, you need to refresh your, uh, refresh your paint, especially when it comes to your entryway. When people come into my entryway, it's an important to me to make the best first impression. And that is the reason why you see paint all over my hands, paint all over my shirt. Even though it was quick to do, I still just got paint everywhere. Now, I'm going to show you what I use to paint my pony walls that are going down my stairs or when someone comes into my entryway. What I use right here, and don't judge me when you look at my brush. This is the roller that I use that I picked up from Home Depot and I really use I really use this thing. And this is the liner that I picked up from Home Depot as well. I feel that it is really important to use a liner. Now, there are some instances where some people say that you can use trash bags. I have used trash bags. The only thing about using trash bags is that once you get cover the aluminum pan right here and get it tucked down, as you're doing like this, it's going to shift, okay? And you need to know that it's going to shift just in case you don't have a liner like me. I like to keep extra liners because I paint so much, but I still like to have them just in case whenever I need it. Now, this is the, okay, wait a minute. This is called a Wooster brush. And as you can see, it is angled, okay? And the reason why it is angled, because it will help you paint your, uh, your uh, baseboards, trimming, um, and, you know, what you, okay, like for example, I needed to get under my trimming and this was absolutely perfect. Now, this one right here <clears throat> was too thin, okay? And this also a Wister brush. Both of these are two inches and 50 millimeters. Now, this one, it has had a day and a half and some more and some more and some more. It's going in the trash. But I did start off using this one, but what I accidentally did was I used the wrong white paint and I didn't feel like rinsing it out and then waiting for it to dry to restart all over again. So this is the one with the blue handle that I should have been using. And because I had already used it, I went for one or older one that I had, even though I did clean it out. It looks like a hot mess, okay? But it still did the job and it helped me get under the pony, the the uh the trimming on the pony wall. It really helped me do that. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean and what I'm talking about when I show you what I what I already painted and why I painted up under the trimming that is on the pony wall. And I think that is it because what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, show you what I did. I already, I did show me painting, but the lighting was really off and I was not going to show you guys that. I, that's just not me. If I feel like it's not right, I'm not gonna show you. I want to make sure I'm not throwing out a video just, you know, I'm not going to do that. I want the, I want it to be right. So you will see that. And then what I'll do is show you that. And then I'm going to come back for my closing remarks and I will be right back.
Okay, I am back. This is what I have done so far. Um, well, I finished it upstairs. And this is what it looks like, all painted with a fresh coat of paint. This right here, I did not do that. The contractor did that because I had everything taped up. And this is what this pony wall looks like on this side. And what I was just explaining to you, like, for example, if you come in my door and you look up as you're coming into my door, it was important to me because it looked like when the painter painted, he had blue all up here. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to fix that. And that is the reason why I had it taped off. So that way I can tape up a uh, paint up under here. And I've also got up under here as well. I wanted to make sure that I was very thorough in making sure that I covered any blue or a gray that the painter had accidentally got up here or under here. So, when you come in my when you come in my door, you have a really good impression especially because when I come up the stairs, I have a tendency of looking of looking up. And what I also did was I also went over the railing that is right here because I wanted to give it a fresh coat of paint as well. And on this side, I did the same thing. Now, this is what my husband did when he was trying to get that sofa out of here. They nicked the wall. And this is easily repairable. And I'll probably wind up repairing this, filling this in, and then repainting it. But for right now, I wanted to get the white paint um I wanted to paint, repaint this white so that way it will look a lot better when you come through my front door. And let me turn around and let me show you on this side. Now, this is where I sit a lot of the times when I am recording my videos. And what I did was I wanted to re... Uh, repaint this as well. I wanted to give it a nice crisp look. So as I'm recording, you're looking at this right here, even though I'm going to have stuff on my buffet, I still wanted this to look crisp and clean and white as well. So yeah, let me go ahead and flip you back around to give you my closing remarks. Take five. <laughs> I am back for my closing remarks. I hope that you've enjoyed my video and I hope that showing you the items that I do use to paint with was helpful. Um, like I said, it is very important that when someone comes to my door, the first impression is always the best impression. And like I said in my intro, I think what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna fix a lot of the trimming that is in my home. And I think that sometimes we do forget about our trimming in our baseboards. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to, uh, hmm. Go take a bath and relax or either clean up all the mess that I made, as you can see. I hope that you enjoyed my video. Again, my name is Diamond76, Home Decor on a Budget. If you want to join me on my Instagram, please join me at Diamond2872. I will be happy to have you over there. And don't forget to thumbs up my video. I know I'm tired because I know I'm tired. And always remember to put that diamond touch on anything that you decide to do. And I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye. I forgot what I was trying to say. Ugh. <laughs> I know I'm tired because what was I going to say? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>